Viscerally bitter, Charles proves to be much more decisive after Frogmore's birthday snobbery and the cancellation of Harry and Meghan's titles. The late queen never gave up hope of Sussex's return, but her son proved royalty is no joke to shopkeepers. Hello and welcome back to the Royal Family News Channel. Did Harry really look happy as he embarked on his semi-official tour of Japan and Singapore last week? Of course, perhaps it was all down to the exhilaration of the warm welcome he received upon his arrival in Tokyo, where his status as Princess Diana's son guaranteed him the kind of welcome that he used to entertain wherever he went in the world. But unfortunately for Harry, those days are long gone, except of course in the land of the rising sun. But there was something in Harry's end about him, including a light-hearted joke with dreaded media that raises some interesting questions about Harry's life as a former royal, because it couldn't have been a coincidence. Harry's arrival in the Far East coincided with a stark reality. Buckingham Palace has administered scrutiny to his and Meghan's status in the royal family's new look three years after stepping down as senior royals. Meghan and Harry had their HRH titles quietly removed from the monarchy's website this week, and they were also downgraded in the official hierarchy so that their online biographies appear below those of Princess Alexander and the Duke of Kent, even though Harry is still fifth in line, so he's much closer to the throne than his elderly second cousins, and it's no surprise courtiers have tried to downplay of this decision. They insisted he was just covering up a situation that had existed since Meg and Harry went into exile in California. So, it was announced that they would not be allowed to use their royal highness style in the future. And that's, of course, because Meghan and Harry were so focused on those business deals, but people close to the royal family tell a rather different story. There would be a lingering visceral bitterness about the constant attacks Harry and Meghan made on Harry's own family, both through his memoir and even in television interviews and such a tense atmosphere there was some resentment that parts of Meghan and Harry's past lives could remain unchanged as if they were still part of the business. Now one of the reasons there wasn't a strong push for change was that the late queen wanted to make sure that anything Harry might interpret as an affront or the slamming of a royal door was carefully avoided. Her late majesty never gave up hope that there would be some sort of reconciliation and that one day Meghan and Harry would be back in the family according to a close figure. But his death last September preceded Harry's book trauma. In addition, the explosive revelations she made about her father, her brother, and especially her stepmother, who became Queen Camilla. He accused them all of leaking negative stories about him and Meghan and especially his mother in law. She said she did it to improve her public image, despite all her pain. Regarding his youngest son, King Charles was much more decisive. He evicted Meghan and Harry from their Windsor property and many believe he had a hand in the changes to Royal's website. After all, for a simple administrative correction, there was surely an element of cruelty in a section referring to Meghan. The Royal website previously described how Her Royal Highness worked as an actress after college and now it reads. After college she worked as an actress and then there was a next step which was how Her Royal Highness also wrote and edited a lifestyle website. Well, that has now been changed to Duchess, she has also written and edited a lifestyle website. Of course, some people will see these changes as minor details, but given that Meghan and Harry's branding is closely linked to their royal status, it was certainly a blow, even if they didn't been stripped of their Duke and Duchess titles the entire time. The same was a confirmation of their downfall and how their star quality is now practically nil. And it's not like that hadn't been the only setback Harry had faced in the past week. A revealing poll was done in the United States. The most popular member of the royal family is not Meghan, it is not Harry. Instead, he is Harry's older brother and alleged nemesis, Prince William. People were asked to write 15 names on the world stage and William came out on top. He was closely followed by the president of Ukraine, President Lensky. And although Harry was not in the poll, the results indicate that despite his nasty attacks on his older brother, Williams, his popularity remains intact and this suggests a challenge for Harry for quite a long time. For some time now, he and Meghan, at least, have been able to count on American support and the rapidly disappearing phase of support in Britain. So Harry, traveling without Meghan in Japan, 
showed courage on his first overseas outing as an ex-royal since fleeing Los Angeles. He looked unusually relaxed and happy as he walked through a group of well-wishers. Perhaps he was aware that he could not use the state. HRH Prince Harry Moore.so he decided not to take the VIP route which surely would have been available to navigate the crowds. The smiles, the happiness, the jokes, it all reminded us of old Harry, the Prem and Harry. There was a reporter who yelled at him asking if he liked being in Japan and Harry's response was this, it's good to see you again. Let's compare that to the last time he and Meghan showed up together at a public event in New York in May. Okay, so on this occasion the assistant said the two had been in a disastrous car chase. A description, of course, which later fell apart as police reported no collisions. Summons, injury, or arrest in Tokyo. The difference could not have been more obvious. Here's that happy go lucky Harry, who, after attending a sports and philanthropic summit where he bowed out of respect for his audience in the Japanese tradition, he hinted that he would be happy to live in Japan. Quote, if you want me, Harry even took the time to talk about the food praising the most amazing Kobe steak. So what's going on here? I mean, months of negative headlines and low approval ratings are definitely part of the reason for this change in attitude from Harry. See the thing about it, it's the endless list of grievances Meghan and Harry have over the slides, perceived or not by the royal family and the media as well. Not to mention their sense of entitlement has not only induced weariness among former supporters, more importantly, they're also a potential threat to the one thing Meghan and Harry can't afford to lose income potential brand pundits say the reason Meghan has been mostly absent from the side of Harry while he was promoting his book was because the negative publicity that was clinging to him posed a risk to his future plans, but of course his absence also led to speculation about the state of their marriage. A recent string of joint appearances, including a visit to the restaurant earlier this month for Meghan's birthday, may have dispelled some of those rumors for at least the next month. Meghan and Harry are expected to travel to Germany together to attend the Invictus Games. This is a sporting event for wounded and injured military personnel which was organized by Harry in 2014 and, as he reminded everyone in Tokyo, charity is important to him, he said. Declared. My life as a charity has always been and always will be, naturally, many people are curious if the same Harry who was exhibited in Japan will be the one who will appear alongside his wife for the Invictus Open. Being free from the typical Meghan worries often so evident when they're together might be one of the reasons for the generally happy looks he's put on this week. And then another explanation could be that his girlfriend is traveling with the Argentinian polo player, not just where he is stunningly handsome. He is 46 and was Harry's perfect friend before they flew to Singapore on Thursday. She posted a few photos on Instagram of the two of them trying on women's sunglasses and captioned that it was shopping for our wives. God's goodness. I mean, you would have to go back years to see pictures of Harry being so relaxed and another reason could be the presence of the man who welcomes him to Japan. A wealthy philanthropist, he is an eccentric New Age guru and leader of the Shinto-based Religious World Companion. The colorful heir to a sake brewing fortune really loves publicity. He once posted a photo of himself in the center of a painting of The Last Supper, and boasts that in addition to his vocation as a priest, he is also a lyric baritone, a dancer, and a calligrapher, and that he is also an actor is a golfer and poet who has exhibited works of art at the British Museum and even conducted a concert at the Royal Albert Hall, The Guardian's critic described an appearance he made at a concert at St. John's Church in Smith Square. Westminster As a quote, the worst musical performance I've ever heard in public, but even more controversial, Porthand was also embroiled in a few different scandals in 994, had to settle sexual harassment complaints from female followers and out of court, he also had a tax evasion charge dismissed in the 1990s. Interestingly, this friendship with Harry isn't the only friendship with the royal that D.A. has cultivated twice. He was received at Buckingham Palace by Prince Andrew now, which added to Harry's apparent happiness, she received no compensation for her appearance and traveled at her own expense, but it may take more than a charm offensive to restore Meghan and Harry's tarnished reputation. At this point,
it seems that little by little they are degrading. It's starting to look like death by 1,000 little cuts. I mean, let's not forget they didn't let Harry wear his military uniform to Prince Philip's funeral in 2021, then look where Meghan and Harry were supposed to sit at the Platinum Jubilee Thanksgiving service. Last year, then where was he supposed to make Harry sit with the royal even at the Queen's funeral service and his lack of a role at his father's coronation most recently in May so more and more Meghan and Harry have been kicked out of royal life for good. Then last week, came senior members of the failed royal family to publicly wish Meghan a happy birthday and soon after came the humiliating rewrite of Meghan and Harry. Official biographies that really prove their position A. Eh? Now the question is, why this happy appearance in Japan? It is an acceptance of this new reality. The first sign of a great dose of humility. He definitely needs it anyway, only time will tell what you think. Please tell me your opinion below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Royal Family News Channel to receive more videos from our team in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching goodbye and we'll be back to see you all tonight.